the video. Don't push me. to 2013. Is Rafael. this a copper? I think so. Oh, yeah, it's looks green. like it's a copper. copper it's green. Spanish group big over here. Except we beat them in the war. Hey, let's go read what it says over there. When? Juan Ponce de Leon was born in 1474 in San Tervis del Campo, Valido province in central Spain. The distinguished Leon family dynasty was among the first to join Queen Isabella in her bid to bring together the many feudal warlords in the Castile and Aragon under one Spanish monarch. Previous historical works related to Ponce de Leon, the Ronis and report that he was born from humble birth in the year 1460. The prominent scholar Aurelio Tio, in the search of both private and public archives in Spain, documented that Ponce de Leon was born in 1474, of noble birth, and that he was the brother of the celebrated General Rodrigo Ponce de Leon. Aurelio Tio's findings are recorded in Samuel Elliot Morrison's account of Ponce de Leon on his 1513 voyage in the European discovery of America. At age 19, already a seasoned warrior, Ponce de Leon joined Christopher Columbus' second voyage to serve the crown in Indies, where he distinguishes himself by subduing, colonizing, and governing the island later known as Puerto Rico. Mm. In 1513, Ponce de Leon decided to move on to more exciting and profitable exploration voyage. His seven-month, 7,980 nautical mile exploration voyage into unknown waters set the stage for the subsequent European colonization of North America. Yet past and current historical literature degrades the discoveries and accomplishments of Ponce de Leon by erroneously picturing him as a vain conquistador who only stumbled into Florida while looking for the mythical fountain of youth. His charter from the crown authorized him to seek and conquer the room of wealthy island or the land of Bimini to the extent of the Spanish Empire with no mention of the Fountain of Youth. And contrary to current consensus, he landed at Melbourne Beach, 125 miles south of St. Augustine, the generally accepted landing site of the shore of Florida. The native inhabitants of the New World did not have a Fountain of Youth in their legends, nor was Ponce de Leon looking for it. The Arabic legend of Fountain of Youth was introduced into the European literature by epic medieval French Roman de Alexandre, Peter Martyr, Pietro Matri, and Heria later associated the Eurasian legend of the Fountain of Youth with the New World located in the Bay of Honduras, but he did not tie it to Ponce de Leon's vo voyage. The 16th century historian 
Gonzalo Fernandez de Oviedo was solely responsible for attaching the legend to Juan Ponce's voyage in the Florida, adding an unfounded comment that relatively young and virile Juan Ponce was looking for the fountain of youth to cure, to cure his sexual impotence. <laughs> Juan Ponce de Leon died in 1521 from wounds received in a doomed attempt to found a colony among the indomitable Calusa in Florida. His failure, hardly unique in the period, should not detract from his epic 1513 voyage that opened the shores of North America to European colonization. So here, one, he left Puerto Rico. Two, March 8th, Grand Turk Island. Nine, the Caicos. Then, Amagua, passed, anchored off San Salvador. Heading northwest, landmarks. Oh, Cuba. Oh, so he went to Cuba also? Very interesting, huh? Mm. So this is the, their money before, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's gold and that's silver. They called it pieces of eight because you could break it off into eight and you could tear a piece oh, off. Oh, so it's very, easy, it's very easy to break off? Well, I mean, it's, it's, you could, you could do it with a knife, you know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Pieces of eight, I guess it was called. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. It's another beautiful beach up here. Look at that. Ooh, it's beautiful. 